Oh, hi. What's your name? <laughs> Say hello to all the subscribers we have now. My fellow subscribers. <laughs> Today, we're going to do an opening of a box. Yes, we are. Oh, cool. It's going to be an American Thrift Supply box. Oh, okay. So, hold on. I'm holding on. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, guys. Yeah, we actually are back. We're trying to get back to regular here. <laughs> so, we have an American Thrift Supply box. I don't remember what I ordered or when I ordered it. So, let's open this up from Birmingham, Alabama, I think. Yes. And let's see what I got. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, let's see. Ooh, tough box. <laughs> this is Apparel Supply Mystery Box 10 Pieces $29.99, $9.99 shipping and $3.20 in tax. And this is the box. So, let's set it down here and see what we got. So there should be 10 pieces in here and I'm feeling something leather with tags. Whoa, dude. Calvin Klein, size medium. Mm. It came from mm -hmm. Ross's. It's usually, this says 79.50, guys. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if this is leather or Uh, that don't even look like the right sign on there but this is what it is it's a long sleeve medium size it's got three quarter sleeves and it's got a little snap at the bottom of the sleeve and that's the back I've never seen one like this before. Let's see what the material is. It does have a zipper all the way down the back. Um, an extra button. And it's 100% polyester. Yep. That, I don't know. It, it looks black to me, but then if you put it in the light, it kind of looks like navy blue. So I'm not sure. I always get confused with that. Oh boy. I haven't got one of these in ages. I'm <laughs> too, too good with ties, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, probably because I don't wear them. <laughs> no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, who is this by? Giorgio Armani. Ooh. Hey, that's a good tie. Mm -hmm. uh, should be new. I'm not sure. Looks like brown. Um, let's see. Uh, 100% silk CD. I guess that's another language. And it's made in Italy. The silk is CD. That is a, huh? The silk is seedy. The silk is seedy. <laughs> Guys, I don't know. <laughs> He's been working too hard. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Boy, I've been getting some of these kind of things in the last couple of boxes. This is one of those shapers. And it's by Assets Spanx. Red for... I can't read that here, guys. <laughs> oh my God, it's Spanx though. And it's a medium. It's a dress for a midget. Huh? It's a dress for a midget. <laughs> A midget? Bird said it's a dress for a midget. <laughs> no, it's actually, <laughs> it's to keep all your fat in. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, this is cute. This this has to be used, I think, because it has a like a little sticker on it. It's by Casper, and it's a woman's uh, jacket. It looks new though, 100% polyester, and I like the color. That is a pretty color. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. And I like the way the sleeves are too. Those are nice. Yep. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, a little out of season sweater from Talbot's 1X. Hmm, that's my size. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's soft. Very soft. Yeah. Fluffy. It's fluffy. Yes. Yes, well, it put, is. Put again. I wanted to make sure that wasn't a, a stain. It's not. It's like a little... Uh, <laughs> piece of grass or something. 90% cotton, 10% nylon. Made in Japan by Chalbuts. <laughs> That's neat. It does feel soft though, guys. Very soft. Okay, what's this? <laughs> guys, this has to be a kid's sweater. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren. Yes, it is. 4-4-T. And it's a little sweater. I think it's cute as anything, though. Be nice to go to church. Yeah. And it has a zipper. And let's see what it says here. Switzerland? Mm hmm Really? Mm hmm Huh. Legend Trocknen. Legend Trocknen. I guess that's in what Switzerland people speak? Mm-hmm. 100% cotton. Let's see if oh. this little zipper works here. Oh, it's got the Ralph Lauren zipper in the whole bit, guys. Let's see. No, that's the emblem. Yeah, my, it has a little piece of string right there, mm -hmm. so I'm trying not to get that caught in the in the zipper. Okay. I know I'll get that caught in there. Let's see. It's just my fingers, guys. I'm sure of it. Okay. Well, Let me see. the zipper looks fantastic. It's just me. Okay, let's see here. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. This is size 14. And it is... Here you go. R and M Richards. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, Bert's got the zipper working. It's just my butterfingers. <laughs> okay, R and M Richards. This is cute. Brand new with tags. Has a slip underneath it. This is the back. It has a zipper back there. That is cute though. Let's see here. Uh, $99 guys, I kid you not. $99.
Now, I'm not quite sure why kids clothes, why I'm getting kids clothes. This says Macy's, by the way. Hmm. Um, but that's okay. I mean, I will, you know, put them on or send them to thread up. Okay, let's see. Ooh, check this out. This is SLNY. SL Fashions New York. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is a nice. It is pretty. That is a fancy little dress. Probably, um, that's probably a mini. Um, got extra hardware on it for the snaps in the back. It is also a size 14 and it goes for a hundred and sixteen dollars. Hmm. Yep. So that is the front. If I'm getting it for you guys there. Mm -hmm. And then that is the back. It has a little snap right here. That snaps. New with tags. Let's see what it's made out of, guys. Uh, let's see. This is... 100% polyester, hand wash cold. So you could stick it in some wool light for three minutes and it'll soak it clean. That's what I do. Okay, let's see here. We got some Eddie Bauer jeans, 3030. Um, brand new with tags. $70 in the U.S., $90 in Canada. Hmm. And they are straight leg. Got the Eddie Bauer sign on the back. Yep. Slim straight. That's what they are. Slim straight. 30-30. Okay. Oh, you got some marking on this. Yeah, it has a little. That's just like. Oh. Okay. Yeah, dust or something. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is some shape shorts. This is Athleta. So, ultra high rise elation, seven inch short. And this is. $59 and it's a small petite I believe SP brand new with tags <clears throat> so pretty pretty good I, I like this box I do okay and the last but not least we got some leggings that are regular $44 and we're on sale for 22 and they're small hmm. looks like small tall to me i like them though you know i think i've seen colleen wearing some of these mm -hmm. they're by u h u e hmm. H-U-E leggings. I don't think I ever heard of them. Back pockets. Fake front pocket. Straight leg. Very good. So, let's see what we got. We got one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 and 11 pieces. That's pretty good, guys. We got one more than we should have. And Bart's got to take pictures and get everything situated. Uh, if you guys are interested in anything in any of the boxes or the jewelry, I always put my um, email in the description. Uh, I will be doing a jewelry box, I think. Uh, probably either before or after this video and with prices so that if you guys are interested in anything you can purchase it um, let's see what else we are not in our apartment yet we're still suffering at the hotel with the dogs <laughs> I just want to get in there and get everything you know a little bit at a time straightened out while I do my videos and go thrifting. There's so many thrift stores around here, guys. There's one for horses. There's one for, I'm, by horses, I mean, you know, they're funding for, excuse me, for um, adoption horses, I guess it is. So they, it's a thrift store for them. There's a thrift store for the SPCA. We, we just have so many. Uh, we're gonna have fun doing it. I'm gonna try to film some of them. I don't know how they feel anymore um, bringing cameras in because I I don't know I kind of uh, the last couple of times I kind of got the cold shoulder with the camera and um, a couple of other people have told me you know that people just said no more cameras and goodwill and stuff so we'll see but anyways i hope you enjoyed our unboxing and we are so glad to be back yes we are uh if you haven't answered your survey and you are a creator please go and answer your survey i answered mine today and i let them know that I think the 4,000 hour rule was really stupid for them to start. <laughs> Not in so many words. I was professional about it. <laughs> but I just wanted to let them know that. But anyway, uh, I told them that I thought that if you are a creator and for the first 30 days you tend to you know make some re some new videos and keep up with doing videos for at least 30 days then you should have a chance to be monetized after 30 days whether they'll take that into consideration i don't know but i thought that would be a good idea because if you go to TikTok or any of those places usually usually if i can speak um you're monetized right away. So, I think that may be one reason why they uh, sent the, the uh, survey around to the creators. But, you know, I'll tell you guys, I really enjoy YouTube. And I like YouTube the best. But I do feel that that 4,000 hours is not right. You know. Of course, that's just me. I am trying to get monetized, but I've been doing this for three years. So, I mean, if somebody is dedicated enough that they're keeping on making videos, I think, I don't know, I think the 4,000 hours is... <laughs> but anyway. Okay, guys. Watch for us. We're going to try to do our giveaway Wednesday night on... Uh, our team move i am trying so hard <laughs> hopefully we'll get in our apartment by wednesday too that ought to be fun but anyway <laughs> we love you guys thanks for watching and watching out for us and we will talk to you on our next one bye